I've met, oh, I can't take this and run about the stage. All right, I'll put it back. Manchester, what a beautiful European city you are. Do you want to hear a bit about science? Phew. The thing that you need to know about science is community. Science is a community. International community, global community. You go into any labs around this city, around this country, it is bubbling with international talent. That is what we are about. And also, so let's hear it for our EU scientists in our labs. Yeah. And our output, our output from British universities, over 60% is now with other countries. That's how we roll, that's how we work, and it's getting more so. But in Europe, we have done something special. We have been able to build this to another level. 39% of the world's scientific output now comes from Europe. America's on 25%, China's on 20%, but in Europe, you can talk about it like a single team because the EU has been the glue. And it's not just pooling finances so that we can do those massive multinational projects that bring together six, seven, 10, 12 countries to do things on huge scale, big dream teams, but we also work together on policy and regulations, what's the right way to go. We have freedom of movement so that we're all EU citizens. And we have those rights and those mobilities and layer on top of that, mobility grants for scientists and you've got some awesome stuff coming out of Europe. <laughs> Manchester, is that not a beautiful thing? But it's not just Europe, because European science also connects the world. In the last programme, it involved 170 countries worldwide. We are a global community. We have the hub here. And us, in Britain, we were in the driving seat. On the policy, we're in the driving seat. Coordinating the big programmes, we're in the driving seat. But Brexit wrecks it. We have been pulled out of that driving seat, thrown by the side of the road, and told to wait. Let's hope that it all comes off okay. That is not good enough. That is not what we want for our future. Brexit gutted the science community. We were almost all against it. In fact, one week after the Brexit vote, we did polling of the science community. We did surveys. People were turning down jobs to come here. Some people were leaving already. Projects were getting reshaped to downsize UK participation. Investment was dropping. Some jobs were being frozen. Falling pound means we couldn't buy some of the things that we wanted to. And that slow hemorrhage has been going on since that date. And those EU citizens, our fellow EU citizens, working here in science, they have been in limbo for over a year now. And that is not right. And that is why they are leaving. And that is why we must fight for them. And here in Manchester, in the University of Manchester, a few months ago, they said that they are going to drop over 170 jobs because of this government's policy and Brexit. That includes academic jobs, that includes science, that includes business. And if you're just thinking, oh, boo-hoo for the scientists, let me tell you what science and higher education does for jobs and does for communities. It pulls in the investment, it pulls in the talent. Our universities work with schools, they work to retrain adults, they work with our local NHS, they spin off new companies of the future to work in our local communities, and when those new businesses grow, that's jobs for all. The painted decorator, the cleaner, the security guard, the local hospitality, jobs for everyone, booming communities. And our universities need to be part of their communities too. That's what it's about. So Andy Burnham, we're not expecting you to be overly intellectual or have too much backbone, but please at least know some facts. 
when I heard you on the radio recently saying maybe we have to leave the single market because the Leave voters want it. A poll two weeks after that vote showed that the Leave voters, 54% of them, expected that their vote meant staying in the single market with just some modifications to free movement. Only 35% actually wanted to leave the single market. So what the hell is this? Not even the Leave voters wanted to leave the single market. And then what about the Remainers? This is a Remain city. Come on, Andy Burnham, stand up for it. Because if you are going to be apathetic, that is your choice. But look at Manchester today. It is blue and it is gold stars. And if you won't stand up for Manchester, the people of this city will. It is only going to build from here our communities. Thank you.